Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to unlock your iPhone using Ultra Snow. Now you must meet some requirements. First of all, you need to go to your settings app, then go to general, and then go to about, and then you should see the modem firmware at the bottom of the page. You have to make sure your modem firmware meets the requirements in the description of the video. So check the description of the video, make sure the modem firmware meets the requirements. Mine unfortunately does not, but I'm just going to show you how to unlock your phone if it does meet those requirements set out. If you do meet those requirements and your iPhone is jailbroken, then go to Cydia and go to your Manage tab and tap on Sources. There you'll see a source for Ultra Snow, and then just tap on Ultra Snow. It should be the only package in that particular source. And then all you do is just make sure you notate the number, the release number. It'll differ depending on which unlock is available right now. Uh, this is the latest version of Ultra Snow, but this video can be used with any Ultra Snow version just as long as you meet the baseband requirements set out right here. So now just tap install, it'll install Ultra Snow Restart Your Springboard. Now you need to grab a paper clip so you can pop open the SIM card slot right here. So just press that in and pop out your old SIM and then you wanna grab your new SIM. I have a T-Mobile SIM here and I've actually cut my SIM. I just traced around the current SIM that was in the iPhone just very carefully making sure all the contacts were there on the reverse side of the SIM and just put it in just like this. Um, it's super easy to do, but just be careful when you cut your SIM. You don't want to mess anything up or cut through any of the contacts. So that's literally all you do. If you meet the baseband requirements, your phone is jailbroken, and you have a SIM card, you can download Ultra Snow and unlock your iPhone right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.